guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. For today's video, I will discuss to you the different types of visas that are qualified to avail the interview waiver program for in-person interview. And also, what are the guidelines and um, requirements in order for you to avail the drop box set by the U.S. Embassy. By the way, if you're new on my YouTube channel, I'm Ping Ping and I make U.S. visa related information videos. So if you're new on my YouTube channel, please subscribe and hit the bell button to get notified of my next videos. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. So let me remind you that last December 23 of 2020, the Department of State with with the consultation of the Department of Homeland Security, uh, granted the consular officers through the end of 2022 the authority to waive all the in-person interview requirements for certain NIV or non-immigrant visas applicants and their qualifying derivatives who have a approved petition by the USCIS. So let's discuss guys, what are the different types of visas that are included in this um, interview waiver program by the USCIS and US Embassy with the approval of the Department of Homeland Security and the Department of State. So the expanded authority applies to the following uh, visas, H3, H4, L, O, T, and Q applicants, provided the applicants meet certain conditions. So guys, you have to meet certain conditions in order for you to avail the interview waiver program or the interview waiver program for in-person interview. All right, now, now, how can you avail the drop box set by the embassy in your country? Here are some questions that you need to answer in order for you to avail the drop box set by the embassy. So question number one, do you have previous U.S. visa in any class issued? So the answer for this question, guys, is yes. Okay, next, number two, was your prior visa a noted clearance received or department authorization? No. So if you answer no, very good. Was your most recent U.S. visa lost or stolen or canceled? Answer for this question, guys, is no again. Number four questions. Have you ever been refused a U.S. visa before? Another answer for this is no. And last question is, was your most recent U.S. visa, visa issued after January 1 of 2008? Answer yes. If your answer are all the same with my answers, then congratulations guys your you are qualified for interview waiver program under the visas that i mentioned so what are the things that you need to do you need to schedule an appointment to visit the document drop off locations to submit your documents but guys no need to schedule an interview in the u.s embassy or consulate so get yeah. So, oh, okay, what are the things that you need to do? You need to schedule an appointment to visit the document drop-off locations to submit all your documents. But guys, you don't need to schedule. You don't need to schedule an interview because again, you're qualified to avail the waiver program or interview waiver program with U.S. Embassy or Consulate. Now, what are the steps that you need to do? Step one, schedule an appointment to submit your documents. Step two, print your appointment letter and follow the instructions in it. Step three, drop off your listed documents at locations mentioned in appointment letter. You should arrive at exactly the time of your appointment. And please note, you will not be permitted to enter the facility before the time listed on your appointment letter. What are the things that you need to bring? Of course, your current passport, which is not expired and it's valid for the next six months. Number two documents that you need is one photograph, U.S. standard size. And number three is photocopy of your form I-797. That's all the documents that you need to bring for your U.S. Embassy drop-off drop -off documents. Okay, so in addition, the Department of State or DOS extended through the need, through the end of 2022, the previous approved policies. 
to waive the in-person interview for other select visa types. This includes F, M, J, and B1 and B2 or tourist visa. Also, certain H2 applicants, or we call it temporary agricultural and non-agricultural workers, may also bypass the in-person interview requirements. Right, guys? So, you can also, guys, check my video on how to apply for interview waiver program for your U.S. tourist visa, or we call it B1, B2. I'll put the links in the description box below for your reference. Alright guys, so that's all for today. I hope you learned something from this video and thank you so much for watching and see you on my next vlog. Bye!